Hello all, welcome back and this is part 3 on event loop with asynchronous javascript okay, I think it's part 3, just refresh, it's a part 3 so we discussed very good things in last two parts in the first one we understand how this set timeout is working uh, with the help of event loop and call stack and uh, in the second part we understand how to debug the code and uh, we can observe the things in the browser itself okay now in this video um, we are going to understand if we give a if we give zero delay what will happen okay right now if we give a 5000 milliseconds yes it is going to attach the timer and once the timer expires it is just moving to the um, callback queue and then once the call stack is empty then it is moving from the event loop will push this call back into the call stack call back stack to call stack okay you should be familiar with this uh, terminology so fine suppose if we give a zero what will happen so let's see if we have a uh, 5000 milliseconds okay and let me see the output okay so i'm just doing a refresh so what is happening start and it is attached to the timer and it has written uh, timer id is one it is completed end also and after 5000 milliseconds delay that means a five seconds delay we are able to it is executed that callback also so that we got the output we love javascript in the end okay so now i'm asking the question if we put zero delay zero milliseconds delay what will be the output okay please you don't need to mention in the youtube comments but at least note down on a paper okay please please okay let's see whether you are able to um, think in the right direction whether you understand the concept or not that's why i'm asking so note down please note down 90 <laughs> percent of the students are not interested to note down like this but please please because that's a good practice to learn okay okay one two three four five six seven okay hopefully hopefully you have noted on the answer so let's see what will be the output whether it is giving the output as you expected or not so so now normally what it is doing it is coming first and if you have a 5000 delay this is coming last right this is executing in the last because it is it should go to the um, web api and then it should come to the queue and then it should come to the call stack it should wait until the call stack is empty okay then i think this is the second one and this is the the third output right and this is the last one so here also for this example also if we if we give a zero also whether it is working in the same way or it is some surprises okay let's see the output let's see the output so i'm just refreshing the code it's a browser so you see yes it's absolutely the output and the sequence is same but if we give a 5000 milliseconds 5000 milliseconds okay observe carefully observe it refresh so it is executing that call back after 5000 milliseconds okay but if we give a delay of zero milliseconds still still it is going to attach this callback function in the web api to our timer whether you will give us zero milliseconds or 5000 milliseconds or 3000 milliseconds doesn't matter so if you are using a set timeout means it is a, it, it it is a synchronous thing it is a this callback is going to attach to the timer so some people few students have a confusion that sometimes what they think na um, ragu here we are giving a zero right we are not expecting any delay so that people thinks that okay it will give a it will execute start then because it has a zero time delay so it will execute 
this as a second output and then it will print third or fourth no okay i hope you understand now even if you give a zero milliseconds delay it is a asynchronous call only and it will attach the timer and timer will expire quickly because it is just zero milliseconds it will expire quickly and immediately it will come to the callback queue okay Sh let me show the diagram because maybe where i stored a diagram a synchronous event loop yeah here is the i hope you are familiar with this diagram okay otherwise please 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 draw it on your own okay let me open in a paint again so that we can edit it okay super so now I'm, i will explain through diagram so first what is the statement we have a console.log start console.log start so then what what we know that immediately it will create a global execution context okay and the next one you are calling the set timeout and we have a variable if whenever you invoke the set timeout at the time also it will create a small execution context for set timeout but we can't debug that actually we can't see in the browser and immediately in this in this scope it will attach the timer it will attach the timer of course already we have one start so it is a timer and it will attach our callback function our callback function to this timer but here what will happen previously it's 5000 milliseconds so it, it will wait for 5000 milliseconds but it is since it is a zero zero milliseconds okay immediately after attaching the timer immediately it will expire so immediately within fraction of second milliseconds it will move to the callback it will it will it will move from web api to callback queue so if you see if it is zero delay yes it will immediately come to the callback queue but still okay after that okay within simultaneously simultaneously it will also gone it will also gone but here this time because it has a zero delay it will come quickly to the callback queue now if you see still we need to do a lot of things here in the call stack so now what will happen yeah we need to execute this line of code right this line of code so timer id of cb timer id so still we, this uh, global execution context should do something okay so that let me take another um, thing first what will happen start okay and then we invoke the set timeout and it is attached the timer it, it has attached the timer already and because it has a zero delay that callback function which we attach the timer immediately it will come to the callback queue it, it it will wait because it should wait okay i'm saying this action is happening simultaneously and uh, here javascript doesn't wait okay time and javascript doesn't wait for anyone okay it's a good statement right time and javascript doesn't wait for anyone in the world so here okay it will go and execute this line timer of timer id of cb and timer id naturally if you have only one timer it is giving timer id of something so it just printed one okay now if you see we got the callback here but event loop doesn't push this callback into the call stack until this call stack is going to be empty okay still we are doing some uh, still call stack is doing some work so next it will go and print console.log end so um, console.log end okay end fantastic after that what will happen after that what will happen once it completes execution of all the code in a javascript file in that particular file okay then 
it will remove the global execution context also from the call stack it is removing global execution context also from the call stack boom so now okay before that itself we got the output like start timer id of that timer is one and end is also printed now the job is um, the hero like event loop he need to <clears throat> take the action so event loop is constantly watching the call stack and the callback queue so whenever the call call stack is empty he will push this callback function into this call stack that's it so right now it is empty so this event loop will take that action he will forward this callback function into call stack again it will create some execution context for this callback okay it will create some execution context for this callback and it will execute what is there inside that callback what is there inside the callback this is the callback function so it will execute this statement console.log will love javascript so we got the output before that here yesterday also i mentioned okay we will get a reference to global execution context also okay so while pushing this callbacks to the call stack after clearing uh, previously within few minute few seconds back the call stack was empty and while we are moving this callback function to the call stack we will get a reference to global execution context also global execution context also will be there in the call stack maybe maybe we are not we don't have anything to execute in the global execution context still that is available for us to help these callback functions okay it's like a god everywhere he will be available whether you will realize or not he will be available if you trust <laughs> otherwise no so at least okay so if you have a confusion just leave it aside no problem okay whenever you, you access a uh, dom uh, things dom elements or in a callback also you can access it okay so the, just remember this global execution context still there uh, whenever we have a callbacks also okay i think yesterday we have seen in the browser uh, while debugging also okay super so in what is there in the callback simple one line of statement now it will execute console.log we love javascript fantastic now here it will print we love javascript this is fantastic right so hopefully you fall in love with the javascript still you didn't fall in love with the javascript maybe you didn't practice maybe you didn't understand the concept or you didn't follow the concepts in a sequence otherwise hope maximum and you should have fall in love with javascript because this these concepts are very very beautiful okay otherwise okay i can't do anything hopefully uh, done so this is okay with a zero delay now shall we play with some multiple timers okay are you ready ready hope you are ready because you wants to you want to learn javascript perfectly if you want to learn if you want to be master yes you should enjoy learning if you are not able to enjoy the learning um, we can't be successful okay fine so now i am going to okay i'm not i'm because understand every time it will return a timer id okay so right now we don't need because i hope you guys understood so why we need to waste a few lines since we are not using those timers right so now the fantastic things i'm giving one thing is a 5000 delay okay 5000 delay that is love javascript the callback function and now <clears throat> we are going to add another um, callback function with a different delay <clears throat> suppose this is a 3000 the here even loop is uh, hero okay here i can give a name like event loop okay and again 
I'm taking one more timer and one more timer we can give what we can give like uh, still I didn't understand what is JavaScript or something no I hope definitely will love this so we can give some other name what we can say so, so we can say blah 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 <laughs> sometimes it's good to <clears throat> give a funny names so it is like uh, blah 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 let's see now note down the answer okay just just guess the answer hopefully you understand hopefully you hopefully you guys understood and now without debugging and without checking in the browser okay just just by understanding this code please uh, note down the answer okay note down the answer okay, I'm just giving um, uh, five 10 seconds 20 seconds or one minute okay yeah okay I will count for 30 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten sorry 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 it's my bad it, it, this is zero <laughs> this is zero okay sorry yeah I, I will count again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, done. <clears throat> okay, fully, hopefully. Okay, you have note down your answer. So let's let's see the output. Let's see the output. Let's see the output. Just refresh. The boom. So start and blah 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 because it has a zero and event loop is a hero and we love JavaScript. Okay, hopefully 99.99% uh, you have given a right answer, right? If you have given right answer, just ping me in the comment section that yes. Okay, okay, super. Now, let's see, can I explain through this? It will be more interesting, right? So now, I'm just uh, deleting this. I will explain from the beginning. Hopefully, already you understood. Understood this. But let me explain one more time for a clarity. So, what is there? Okay, even we don't have any timers now. Boom. Boom. Okay, now you can start from the beginning. What is there? First line console.log start. So, whenever you give a so line of code, JavaScript engine will create global execution context global execution context and what it is saying so it will start executing like console.log start so here in the in the output yes the first thing is a start that is done that is done and next it is saying set timeout of it is attaching a love JavaScript callback function to at it is attaching a timer. <clears throat> so with the 5000 milliseconds delay. So immediately what it will do? It will attach the timer and the what is that callback function? The love JavaScript. This is a callback function. Okay, that's why I'm mentioning like CB callback function with allow JavaScript name for understanding purpose. Okay, otherwise, you can copy this name. Oh my god. Okay, copy. And you can give if you have a space, proper space here. It's fantastic. Okay, this is allow JavaScript callback function. Okay, fine. So it is timer 5000 milliseconds. So it will start the count immediately. It doesn't wait for anything. Uh, and the next line, what is there? Set timeout and 3000 milliseconds with a event loop. Okay, fine. There is another timer is there. So it will attach another timer uh, with the. Um, 
the name of that uh, callback function is the event loop okay this is the uh, name of the function name of the callback okay? don't get confused that ragu here one event loop is there why you are given a event loop don't i hope you are you understand so what is the delay what is the delay here that is uh, 3000 milliseconds but understand here maybe because if, if it is take um, some milliseconds at the time of attaching this second e uh, second callback maybe this count has reached from 5000 milliseconds to maybe 4500 okay because it is running very fast right so by the time we are attaching this timer maybe the count of that uh, countdown of this first timer may be reduced to 500 milliseconds okay and now <clears throat> another one is there that is another timer another timer with a zero delay zero 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 okay zero milliseconds delay and that name is like blah 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 but here if you see it is it has a own zero milliseconds delay so it will expire very quickly within a millisecond and this blah 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 will be will come and wait here immediately because it has only zero delay so by that time by the time this blah 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 went to the callback queue maybe the count of this um, this timer maybe it will reach us 2500 milliseconds and maybe it will reach us this will reach 4000 milliseconds with the countdown because it should complete 5000 milliseconds he should complete 3000 milliseconds okay it is doing like timer one is counting down from 5000 to already done 4000 it still need to count down to zero here also it is came down from 3000 milliseconds to 2000 milliseconds and it should reach the zero <coughs> meanwhile javascript doesn't wait for anyone so this also completed and javascript doesn't wait for these timers and then it will quickly execute console.log end so it will go and uh, display the output as end sorry and it's done so Hopefully you guys understood already once JavaScript completes execution of this JavaScript file Okay, once it reaches the script It's done. So at the time <coughs> Sorry, what it will do It will remove Global execution context Now you know that <coughs> what it will do This blah 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 is there <clears throat> sorry my voice is breaking somewhere so this since the call stack is empty it will move this blah 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 into the call stack okay by the time maybe this count is 2000 milliseconds this count is maybe uh, 3500 milliseconds but still these things are in web api still they didn't reach the call back queue okay understand clearly because it came very fast and call stack also executed all the things quickly and the execution context is also gone global execution context is also gone so now <clears throat> it will the it will create an execution context for blah 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 and it will execute that callback what is there in that blah 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 it suggests console.log blah 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 fantastic now here this is like blah 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 okay fine after that after executing that it doesn't wait it doesn't wait so here it will remove this blah 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 also gone so still callback is empty and now event loop is also waiting like nothing is there in the call stack nothing is there in the callback queue after some time after some time so it will it will quickly um, so this timer 2 will expire very soon right because it is 5000 milliseconds delay this is 3000 milliseconds delay naturally it will expire very quickly than the first timer even though it came first but it, it should follow the 5000 milliseconds delay but it is it has only 3000 milliseconds delay so it will come fast so now what happened it has expired 
now this event loop will come to the callback queue and it will remove this timer quickly and the, since the call stack is empty immediately it will push event loop here it will create an execution context and it will print the output what is there in the event loop event loop is the hero so here after some delay it will print event uh, loop is the hero of this concept and immediately immediately it will remove the execution context event loop also so as i told you that global execution context always comes with this also in the background okay whenever you need you can take help from global execution context also right now without putting a lot of confusion just think that okay even callback is came it is executing this callback and this callback is also gone once the job of this call, event loop is done event loop done even if you have a global execution context it will remove that global execution context also that's the smartness of a javascript engine yes because still it, it didn't came to the callback queue it didn't came to the call stack okay after some time after some time after maybe after some thousand milliseconds okay maybe it will reach as the zero milliseconds though timer has expired now again love javascript so it will reach us to the callback queue and you can remove this one love javascript <clears throat> now if you see the call stack is empty always the call stack should be empty empty so then it will come this callback will come to the to the call stack at the same time global execution context also will come okay in the background and it will execute this uh, callback at the time we will get uh, output as like uh, we love javascript okay after that again it will remove this execution context also if global execution context is there it will remove that one also now again call stack is empty okay right now of course we don't have any we don't have any call timers in our web api we don't have anything in the callback queue we don't have anything in the call stack so job is done we can take rest that's all okay I hope you guys understood okay you can debug the code and you can see okay let me debug so that you can see these names callback names in the call stack so let me go to the source okay i'm just putting the breakpoint just understand carefully you will get this love javascript and event loop and blah 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 execution context callback execution context in the call stack and you will get the message like asynchronous asynchronous okay at the time also you you will see the uh, global execution context okay hopefully so boom this is the global execution context okay and it will print start it will execute console.log start fine we got the output start fantastic and now if, now we are setting a timer okay i just removed the uh, i'm not storing the timer id suppose if you want you can create some separate variables you can store those timer ids and you can just do a log consider a log so that you will get more clarity if you have some confusion so right now it's very simple so if we do a set timeout it will attach this love javascript timer into the uh, web api okay so if you see that is done that is done and if you execute this set timeout again it will attach the timer to the web api second that is also done now set timeout okay third one it has a zero delay zero delay if you see yes even it is a zero delay it should follow the rules and regulations okay it should attach the browser maybe it's because it's a zero right or maybe hopefully it reaches uh, it has expired and it, it it could reach as the callback queue also within fraction of um, seconds now console.log end console.log end so so if you see you got the output as end fantastic now go to the source and now if i do a next step execution context this global execution context in the call stack will pop out but naturally we can't see in the browser if if is there any po possibility to track that definitely i will come up with another video for that but just understand that yes once you ex once javascript executed all lines of code sequentially sequentially 
then this global execution context also will go on from the call stack so now so call stack is empty okay that happened call stack has empty and blah 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 came okay if you see still you are able to see the global scope and still you are able to see anonymous this is anonymous what is this anonymous that is called global execution context but maybe we are not executing globally anything but in future in future if you need any help from the god or global execution context he should be available for you right that's why he came <laughs> okay he has expired from the call stack and whenever that callback function came into the call stack a uh, synchronous javascript uh, sync sorry that global execution context also came so now if you see here it is clearly saying that it's a set time mode and it is following the asynchronous way and the global the context name is blah 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 what is there in the blah 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 okay console dot blah 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 it will execute that okay if you see go to the console blah 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 now <clears throat> when you go to the next step which timer is going to come next the love javascript or event loop so naturally event loop has 3000 milliseconds so that it will that that callback will come quickly and if you see once you come out of that if nothing is there in the call stack callback queue again it will expire this blah 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 execution context and global execution context also okay so now it moves to love javascript what is there in the love javascript we love javascript oh my god this is unexpected i thought it will go to the uh, 3000 right so maybe because i am doing a debugging i am putting a lot of delay in that sense also it should come right it should come first let me see what is the output blah 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 oh, it's just a surprise for me <clears throat> oh that's nice so here it is printing uh, oh my god so we love javascript maybe maybe because of debugging it is taking something different because we are giving a lot of delay okay event loop this is fantastic this is fantastic this is fantastic. if you see okay when i'm doing a debugging okay maybe uh, both things are expired properly whether it is changing the priority okay so right now don't worry don't worry uh, so if you see here okay i will take a screenshot also for you this is really really surprising and interesting so if we don't do debugging we got different output with with debugging okay, with debugging i will um, the paste here <laughs> okay okay it is there so if you see what we expected and blah 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 okay start and blah 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 event loop is the hero right but here we got we love javascript don't worry don't worry if i if i remove the debugging option okay they go to the source so debug i'm just removing everything uh, first let me refresh okay then see the output because it, it is executed without a debugger so if you see he, this time uh, blah 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 came first and event loop is the hero and we love javascript of course in the production we can't uh, stop the execution right it will execute automatically but this is really awesome thing even i didn't expect that okay this is super suppose i think so if uh, two things uh, two things will come two callbacks will expire at the same time some something happening here so please try just play with this this is really really awesome so if you see hopefully you are able to see perfectly so in this situation when we are debugging when we are debugging and slow debugging slow debugging debug slowly slow debug slowly you will get a different result this is without debugging like without this is fantastic that's why i love javascript it will surprise you in many many ways okay even without okay i'll learn this concept perfectly no someday it will give some surprise in some different sense okay so super 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 i'm very happy so naturally it will this is the output as we expected end blah 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 
and event loop is the hero and we love javascript but when we are doing debugging slowly it might be what i'm thinking suppose whenever you just um, pause the execution so still this timers are running in the background okay still timers are running in the background maybe at the time it is not going to push into the callback queue um so that the 5000 milliseconds one and 3000 milliseconds one will expire and uh, it will give a more priority for 5000 milliseconds because i'm saying if, if you pause the execution if you pause the execution at the time maybe it is not pushing these things into the callback queue if you give it too much uh if you take too much time for the debugging if you are because debugging means we are pausing the execution process right we're just observing after pausing so that's why it is giving some different delay but this is fantastic i will i will spend some time on this and uh, i will come up with um, the right reason for that so this is fantastic it's fantastic hope you guys understood and love javascript so if you see refresh start and blah 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 event loop is hero because it has a 3000 milliseconds delay and uh, we love javascript it has a 5000 milliseconds delay this is fantastic and now okay i think uh, this is enough for this video and what we are going to learn in the next video okay so if you see here one more interesting thing is there so even listeners okay, in the web api is, is a very very powerful browser is very very powerful and so far we understand this console and set timeout okay we didn't understand what is event listener and how event listeners work in this ecosystem in this javascript runtime environment and one more thing is their fetch this is awesome concept okay if you want to get some information from the server okay we are going to use the fetch api so in the next video in the in the, in the sequence i'm going to explain what is event listeners and uh, what are the important things are there in this concept and then we will come back and i will explain okay if we have an event listener and how javascript engine uh, how those are working internally through this uh, JavaScript runtime environment. After that, I will explain few uh, videos uh, with the Fetch API, how to use the Fetch API. And once you understand, once you familiar with the Fetch API, then we can come back again. We can see what is happening in the browser for Fetch API also. So then we will get a clarity on each and every item. So if you see here, okay. So the we are micro task queue is there, right? What is a in which situation we are going to use the microsoft key, micro task queue so if you see simple this fetch api if we have any callbacks from a fetch api fetch api it will come to the micro task queue set timeout have a callbacks it will come directly to the callback queue and even even listeners are work similar to the set timeout okay these callbacks also come to callback queue but the only difference is if you have any callback functions okay callback functions attached to the fetch api those will come to micro task queue and suppose if you have few things in the micro task queue and if we have few things in the callback queue so but this event loop will give high priority for the micro task queue like this is the vip line okay high priority okay this is compared to micro task queue it is low priority okay even though one callback function suppose just imagine here if you have a time otherwise you can watch it later suppose something still global execution context is there and uh, one callback one callback came from web api with a set timeout or even listener okay he came very early 
after some time after some time another callback came to the micro task queue okay because he came first he came 10 minutes early he came okay 10 minutes late so after some time okay this because even though you came for micro task queue or callback you everyone should wait until the call stack is empty okay so let's so after some time the call stack is empty and now event loop should take some decision at the time even though this person came very early than this person this event loop will give high priority for micro task queue so first it will push this one into the call back call stack and once the micro task queue is empty then only it will push okay, it, it will expire immediately and then it will push the call back queue things into the call stack okay i hope you guys understood but if you want to understand clearly first we should understand what is event listener okay even listeners and set timeout follow, follow the same rules okay and uh, fetch has some high priority so we are going to learn event listeners and the fetch api and i will explain we are going to learn and how this micro task queue is work will work and how event listeners will work everything everything okay so hopefully um you guys understood <laughs> okay so if you are following this series okay part one part two part three still you didn't understand okay just ping me in the comment section ragu i didn't understand something so can you explain one more time or even i'm ready to connect directly with you and uh, i will explain okay that's all for today and see you in the next session with event listeners bye 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 thank you